Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to introduce how to train your own AI model inside of the Korea. So we can find the entry points from uh, Korea home uh, in here. So when we type the AI training, now we enter this uh, this site. So we can click the train new model. Let's click here. All right. So we need to decide whether this is a style or person or object. If you are doing a, if you are doing a product design, uh, you want to design a, like a vacuum. If you are designing a product design, like new iPad, you might choose the object. Uh, but if you want to design a series of the illustrations, you might need the style. But most people choose a uh, person. Uh, they use their photos to train their own AI models or their favorite characters. So uh, today, let's try to train our uh, person model. Okay, uh, let's let's uh, set up a title. Uh, my first Korea model. Okay. And we can set the description as well. Uh, new model one. Okay. Here uh, we can set the training as a private project. Uh, so nobody can use it. Uh, otherwise, people can see it. Uh, okay. So the last step is upload the images. So for this, I want to test if they can help us to train a cartoon uh, model. So I've been watching the Spy Family recently. So let's train uh, this character. I already downloaded many uh, photos from uh, Google's. And uh, let's upload these photos. So if you have... Uh, uh, like 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 photos of your own or uh, any any images that you like to choose, you can upload it as well. Then we can click this button, click join. Okay. Then we need to start training job by click this button. All done. Now what we need is wait. Okay, we have our first model here. Hi guys, this is me after 15 minutes. So during the process of a training AI model, uh, we can refresh the website. You can see, you can check the status of your model. Uh, it will be showing like something, something percentage. And when they down, the little ball will become green, which means you are able to use it. So now it's ready. Let's see. So first thing first, back to our home. And uh, we come to Studio Canvas. In here, let's create a new project. So this is a product that you are able to use all kinds of the models. Uh, I know some people may be familiar with stable diffusion, right? So here we have all the uh, models from the community you can use, uh, even though you don't have it in your local computer. And in here, my models, we can see my first model. We can click here and we type a uh, prompt like uh, uh, beautiful girl with a um, car, something like that. And we click the generate. Also, we have advanced settings. So in here, we can set up the dimensions that we need, uh, whether it's a portrait or the landscape or uh, such a stuff. Okay, let's forget about this now. Oh, we have the, our image, our first image produced by our model. Click here. Let's, uh, okay. Let's drag in here in the canvas. This is a quite nice. This is a hand, uh, 
This is quite nice. This is a hand drawing style. And we can see this is quite the same with the characters that I feed in. And this is nice. Let's try this one. Oh, this one's still uh, hand drawing because the image that fit to our model is hand drawing. All right, maybe try another one. Let's change the dimension to portrait. And let's uh, rewrite the prompt. Let's see a girl in red. Okay, click the generate. So uh, one time it will give us two options. So we can uh, select from those. And if you're satisfied with it, you can put it in the frame. Click. Oh, nice. And click our uh, cursor. We can find the menu. We can download it. We can explain it. We can even stylize it or recolor it. Quite nice. And this is a really fun. All right. I think we have our model and we can have a lot of fun by using it. Some people are accusing uh, nowadays the AI tools cannot control the consistency of the characters, but with the, your own AI models, I think this can be solved, right? At least this is a, a direction. Okay, I hope you like it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please don't forget to leave it on the comment zone. And also don't forget to subscribe on the channel and even like this video. Okay, good luck to you, everyone. See you next time.